Good evening, Brian and Steph. Around 12.45 this afternoon, police say a man walking his dog found a body on the side of Lake Dunmore Road in Salisbury, Vermont. State police investigators were here earlier this evening looking into how the man's body ended up on the side of a road on a quiet street bordering Lake Dunmore. Vermont State Police tell me they won't be making further comment tonight, but they are investigating the death as a possible homicide. Police say it is linked to the officer involved shooting in Rutland that left 33-year-old Christopher Loris dead, but they still have much more to investigate. Even though we've been at it all day, uh, we have lots more to uncover, lots more witnesses, uh, interviews to do, and collecting any uh, footage that we may find by camera. And uh, we would welcome any, any help from the public, anybody who witnessed anything or has any information that would be helpful to please you know, contact the state police at the, at the Rutland station. Now, police say they will release the man's name once the family is notified. An investigation will continue tomorrow morning. For now, the scene is secured. Officers are standing watch over where the man was found dead. Nate, you've been in both Salisbury and Rutland today. Why do police believe there's a connection between these two scenes? So police weren't willing to say specifically how the man was connected to Christopher Loris, but they did tell us the two of them were connected. Christopher Loris died following an officer involved shooting in Rutland this morning. It all started at 5.30 a.m. when police say they believe he opened fire on Rutland Police Headquarters. Nearly two hours later, police found his car in downtown Rutland after reviewing security footage. He led them on a brief chase in the Amtrak parking lot and onto the train tracks. He then fired at police who returned fire, wounding him. For Rutland residents, the sound of gunshots were unmistakable. What's the first thing going through your head? Gunshots. Gunshots that early in the morning. Nobody's going to do firecrackers at 10 after 7 in the morning. Now, Rutland City Police have put three of their officers on paid administrative leave, and Rutland Town Police has put one of their officers on paid administrative leave as well. They told reporters that is standard protocol for officer-involved shootings. Now, we'll continue to bring you updates as we have them. For now, we're live in Salisbury. Nathaniel Reed, NBC5 News.